Okay, so I welcome on Unreal Eddie. You want maybe to know how to uh, make um, some things like that uh, on Unreal Engine? Um, I would like to make a tutorial on that, but the problem is the time. It would be way too long. I tried to make a tutorial, but it's really too long like uh, 30 minutes so uh, I will just show you an example that will allow you if you copy and if you put uh, the pause on the button to uh, make some things uh, I would say uh, similar so let's go to Unreal Engine so f to do some things like this you need uh, the third person uh, the third person template once you have the third person template you need to create a game mode a player controller and a user interface in the game mode you have to set to set the player controller class the at, um, and the default point class then you go to the world setting and set the game mode and here we go on the widget so on the widget it's not really hard so let me just show you uh, first the design uh, table so uh, you need some button uh, here for example we have the hub button the left button and a vertical box with the spawner and the exit button um, that's it on each uh, button you have to put some text in order to know uh, what you are uh, what you are doing mm -hmm. that's simple just a button with a text on each okay now on even construct you have to cast to the third person character the third person character and then you need the reference for each button so you have each button here on the variable the variables uh, graph uh, table so for example you have the exit just go here and select on click for example here I have the hub button so here is the hub button so on click up I get the reference of the third person character that I create here this is here so I just take that and create a reference of the third person character that mine is called zero zero like James Bond okay and uh, on click up I take the variable of the third person and add local rotation just add actor local rotation then I put a uh, X Y and for, uh, for the left I use the y, the no I put a uh, X 90 degree for the left I use the Y axis 90 degree okay so this will give you that oh yes and um, on the level blueprint you have that so when I push the one button I create the widget the widget I called it widget and I add it to the viewport so the widget I add it to the viewport like that when I push one here is my user interface okay and you can see there is an animation let me show you how i did it i how i, how I did that so when you uh, start uh, the, the user interface uh, there is an animation and for this you have to put the button outside of the canvas panel you have to plug the button wherever you want for example like this here up or here or here 
like you the, this will be the attachment the, the reference for the start so you put the button outside of the canvas panel so, because this will be the start position or for each of them okay then you create an animation and in the animation you create a um, track so you select for example the this one or um, this button you select left and you go here you select transform and you put the uh, a keyframe here and like this so you have the keyframe for the start and for example you move it like this and you put the keyframe for the end and this will give you that okay so there is your animation okay delete that when you go to the um when you go to the event graph you will see the variable of the animation just here you just put it here in the so like this you click and drag you have the animation then you make a play animation and i put it forward okay so that's it after when i click the button exit the exit button here i called again the animation so the animation here but i call it on reverse and when i called it on reverse i get the player controller to not show the mouse cursor and to set the input mode to game and ui only so as you can see on even construct i show the mouse cursor and i set the input to ui only okay and there is the spawner button when i click the spawner button which is here i spawn an actor and i spawn this actor at the actor transform the reference actor transform okay i break the transform and i add a vector so i add minus uh, 500 and plus uh, 152 and i plug it to spawn transform i set simulate to the mesh and i had inputs 5000 and here we are so i push one up so as you can see this is not the good uh, settings left so i will inverse i just have to go here so on up i have to use the y axis so 90 and for the left i use the x okay and here we are up left up left when i make exit then i can move like that okay and i can go wherever i want like this and then i push one again can make the spawner oh yes we won't see it so we need to put it like that one again and spawn and here we are i spawn the guy huh? Voila. Uh, up like that one and i spawn the guy with physics but no collision just with physics if i want i can go there and enable collision to true like that um, oh no <laughs> there is no collision just the physics so yes that's it that's it this um, you need some times to make some things like that this is all i can tell you and uh yes that's it so see you don't forget to like us like share or dislike if you don't like this video